So because I'm such a fan of movies, I've decided to come to the Glasgow Film Theatre as they're doing a Scotland's short, independent short films. Right. Walking up a very big hill. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd come along, see what uh, independent short films are like. I've got some ideas of more ones, but I've not really seen anyone else's to see how close I am to making one or making it make sense. We'll find out shortly. First uh, short film kind of festival thing I've been to, it was quite interesting. Uh, showed nine films. Some of the story, one of the guys did a QA at the end and the director basically said that he wanted to create something that would challenge him film wise but not narrative wise so he made a film that didn't really have a story. Um, but it's definitely given me a bit of confidence to maybe try and make my own short film and I suppose you can make it and take as long as you want so maybe I'll do that this weekend, we'll see. So tonight off to see some regular cinema, Ocean's 8 because if George Clooney can rob people so can Sandra Bullock, let's see if it's any good. So Ocean's 8, um, pretty good film, entertaining way to spend a couple hours but if you're not interested in seeing it don't think you're going to miss much but if you are wanting to see it yeah definitely check it out. So one of those ones you could probably wait till it comes on TV you're not going to miss anything much. So first things first, product review, the ON, I'm not sure what model it is, the ON Cloud Rush Trainer. It's quite expensive at £120. It did replace this Nike as my running shoe. I hated these shoes because they're really hard to put on because of this sock like thing. But these, I really like them, super comfy, super shock absorbed there, or super light is the best thing about them. So, so light, and yeah, really nice to wear. So, if you want a new pair of running shoes, check out on. Am I a fan? I think it's been a bit of a quiet week this week. Um, tried to concentrate a wee bit on the making my own short film after going to the short film festival. I wasn't meant to storyboard it, I've got my storyboard, my storyboard folder here. So I'm actually going to spend this week storyboarding it up and thinking up all the shots. There's two shots that I think would be really difficult for me to do, um, so I need to figure out a way to do them. But that's basically the plan for the week. Another thing I did was I applied to go on Love Island. Now, one of my friends kind of gave me a lot of criticism about this, saying was I trading my integrity um, just to go on that program. And one of the reasons why I applied to go on it, and I was like, I mean, it'd be nice hanging out in the sun for a couple of weeks. Um, but getting that opportunity, like, I think just about everybody on the program has now over 100,000 Instagram followers. And with that comes a certain level of opportunity. Um, I watch a lot more big people and they're getting invited to do Suzuki tests and stuff like that or flying to Austria to test a new KTM or invited to um, take the Ducati V4 or uh, um, on Silverstone all that kind of thing because they've got a certain amount of social media followers and it's something that I can't do because I'm not at that level yet and it's like would I go on a programme hang about the sun maybe meet a lady for that kind of future that could make me have this kind of YouTube career where I could make reviews, product reviews, allow me to do all the kind of things that I want to do and <clears throat> maybe possibly help pay my way through uni as well for the next four years. So why would I not do it? So I find it a bit strange that I was getting criticism for wanting to do something like that that could make the next kind of period of my life so different and so much likely to be able to do the things that I really want to do. So, yeah. Don't let other people 
stop you doing the things you want to do if you think it's going to make a big difference because I don't think they understood my reasons and they're just kind of looking at like a superficial level. So yeah, if you want to do something, go do it. Live your dreams. Buy some more trainers as well. Oh, one other thing, I'm going to move, normally my upload date is a Monday at 12 o'clock. I'm going to move that to Tuesday because anytime I do anything on a Sunday, it makes getting this video out in time really difficult. So I'm going to move to a new regular time, Tuesday, 12 o'clock from now on. So see y'all then.